Exponent law number two. Here's where it starts getting interesting. So remember guys, in our previous lesson, let's quickly write here, in our previous lesson, just a quick recap, because it's very important that you know this. What we saw was that if you have, for example, two to the seven multiplied by two to the two, we learned the following. When these base numbers are the same, leave the base. And because we have a multiply over here, then what we can do is we can take these, but we add them. We say seven plus two, which is nine, okay? So that would be the answer. Now, in this lesson, it's going to look like this. We're going to say divide. So what do you think is going to happen? So once again, when the bases are the same, leave the base. So at least that part stays the same. Now, when we did multiply, what did we do with these exponents? We added. So when we did multiply, then what did we do with the exponents? We added. So what are we going to do if there's a divide? Well, well done if you see that we're going to subtract. So we're going to say 7 minus 2, which is 5. Now, for those of you that want to see what it looks like when you expand it, let me show you. So we know that 2 to the 7 is actually 2 times 2 times 2, 7 times, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, what does divide mean? Well, divide means over. And then what is 2 to the 2? It's 2 multiplied by 2. What you could now do is you could cancel one of these and one of these, and then one of these and one of these. Okay, so everything is now canceled. So how many 2s do we still have left at the top here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hello. So this is what it would look like if you expand it, but I wouldn't suggest doing it like that because it's going to take a long time. You can now in the beginning as you're learning, but remember, when there's a divide over here, all you do with these numbers is you subtract. Okay, so this lesson, we're just going to do a few of those. We're not going to do too many, and then that'll be it. Let's begin. So when the base numbers are the same, leave the base. Then, because this is a divide, what do we do with the exponents? We subtract. Well done. So 5 minus 2, what is that? That is 3. There we go. When the bases are the same, leave the base. Because this is now a divide, we will subtract. We won't add. You only add if it was a multiply. If it's a multiply, then you add. Okay? When the base numbers are the same, leave them. What do we do with the exponents? Subtract them. So what is 10 minus 3? 7. Our last example. When the base numbers are the same, leave that. Leave that, okay? Now, because this is a divide, what will we do with these exponents? We will subtract them. So what is 10 minus 8? 2. 